Is it okay for a 70-year-old guy to marry a 19-year-old girl? Uh, it's complicated. I'll explain it, and then I'll explain why I have no view. Uh, I'll just put down some basics. The first thing is, if the woman or girl is going to get married, she can get married from the age of 18 to uh, 18 to 21 needs parental consent. So if you haven't got that, the answer is no, it's not okay. Next thing is the maturity levels of Filipino at those ages is normally terrible. Um, it's, it's like 16 year old uh, girls in the West. It, that's the sort of age group, you know, they're still texting boyfriends, all that sort of stuff. It, they haven't matured. A relationship only lasts a week. Yeah, that's, I think that's the easiest way of putting it. They, they don't think long term. You know, they're still um, finding their way in the world. Um, from a financial point of view, they may be pushed into getting married from parents, relatives, aunts, uncles, etc., because they see the guy as a cash cow. Um, what else could there be? Oh, nothing in common. Um, I find from knowing people that own establishments, for example, uh, that there's often a disconnect. There's a friend of mine owns a boatyard. It's about, I think, 11 or 14 boats there that were people's retirement projects completely unfinished but also the guys sit there complaining about their wives they you know they don't do this they don't do that it all comes from the fact that they're completely different people um you've got western mentality of an older generation and you've got a filipina that is still in her teens mentally you know compared to the west she's still in her teens so she may not cook. She may not do most things that you would expect somebody that was more mature and had a bit more experience in the world would do. Uh, their education is not as important. Uh, I've had this with the call center where I try to encourage people to learn new things. We have a training library where basically there's lots and lots of videos and stuff to teach people new things, programming, etc., etc. Uh, if somebody says to me, oh, I'm really interested in this, I will help them develop it. Um, doesn't matter what it is. You know, there's a guy wanting to build his own speaker system. So I got him a load of uh, projects from Instructables and stuff and showed him different things and, you know, the different types of boxes and how to convert from a metal case, wood case, you know, how to make a plywood base box, etc., etc., because he was interested. But you will find a lot of the Filipinos of that age group aren't interested. They're more likely to be interested in things like World of Warcraft. They're more likely to be interested in daytime television. Um... I don't know how to... I can't... The connect between 70 and 19 is so far apart. I don't know how you fill that void. And like I said, I've seen guys with their boat projects. They've, they don't finish the boats because the money runs out or they lose interest. One of the two, whatever comes first. But also they sit there griping about their young partner because there is nothing in common. You can't talk sports, you can't talk politics, you can't talk um, about most things because um, the majority have no connection to you. Um, developing those connections take time, but they also take an interest. So from these things, is it okay? The answer is, I'm not giving my response. You make your own assumptions or just make a calculated guess. There is so many things that are disconnected. It doesn't mean that everything's wrong. It's just that you need to work out, can you fill all, fill all these voids if you're serious? And then don't just take it, oh, well, she says she's serious, then it must be serious. It doesn't work that way. It really doesn't. 
people need enthusiasm to get into something. You know, even if it's um, something simple, you know, like cookery. Um, a lot of women can't cook. <laughs> I know I say that, um, but a lot of women really cannot cook. Uh, as such, can you cook? Are you going to teach your partner to cook? Does she want to cook? All these sort of things are things you want to be doing before you commit to anything. And this is why I'm saying, from my, my personal view, that I think the gap is too big. Um, but also, you've got different maturity. The guy that's 70, 65, 68, whatever, um, has come from a different, he's several generations away, mentally and education wise etc the girl like i says is world of warcraft and stuff and i know some guys are gonna go well what's world of warcraft that's what i'm talking about they they're trying to fill in this void in the middle it will not be easy um i'll talk about the second life in the next video uh but <clears throat> the point here being is you need to decide are you better off finding somebody that's 25 plus 25 plus you find they're they've been through the hardships of life they've experienced bad relationships and they know what they want in life so as such they're more focused they're not thinking of today but often planning ahead they want a family they want this they want that da 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 and then that brings in another thing family do you want a family when you're in your 60s and know you're going to leave children behind in a third world country all these things you need to look at and understand the other thing which is the obvious one is she just marrying you for money is she being pushed into the marriage because her family want the money you have to sit and analyze all this stuff and like I said, from my own viewpoint I'm not taking the oh they're too old da, da, da. I'm taking the viewpoint of this age gap, this age gap, all this bit in the middle is completely different for the two of you because the age is so far. Um, can you fill that void? And then you've got the social aspect of people being judgmental. I don't know if people say, oh, they don't judge. Of course they do. They just don't tell you to your face. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah.